Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We're in Christmas present as we pretty much wake our way through uh, a Christmas carol as Sam and Max, as spirits ourselves. And we're in Stinky's diner. Uh, I guess this is just as the quiz took place. Uh, so I guess let's talk hey, to Stinky. Stinky. Oh, she can't hear us. Ah, she can't hear us. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the people can't interact with us in these little flashbacks. The bugs here. I, I think this is what we've got to do. We've got to sort out the bug bit. Hello, sir. He can't hear us, Sam. What is that? <laughs> it smells like wet ghost dog. <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Well, I didn't think it was that funny, but whatever turns you on. <laughs> I didn't say that. The bug did. Yeah, so I wonder if we've got to do something to get rid of his family. I'm not sure what it would be at this point. <clears throat> um, we've got the world's simplest maze. Maybe we'll go to the future next and just have what a look around. What do you want there. us to do again? Convince the bugs to leave the diner, never to return. <clears throat> yeah. How do we do that? I haven't the foggiest idea. That's why I'm making you guys do it. Okay, fog maybe has something to do with it, or maybe that is literally just unrelated. <clears throat> but anyway, let's go to Christmas future. <clears throat> or Christmas yet to come. I don't know what's happening with my voice. It's, um, yeah, a little bit weak. Okay, Whee! past, future. Future's over here, right? <clears throat> yes, it is. The portal to the future. Let's speak to the, uh, the so spirit. So gotta jump in this portal and save another Christmas, huh? I've seen characters in Japanese RPGs that say more than this guy. <laughs> All right, well, in we I go. I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time, I'm right. I like his eye. His, like, bionic eye. That's pretty cool. Ooh, uh... <clears throat> interesting. Well, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. <laughs> Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were <laughs> carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> Somebody help! <coughs> Spirit, why would you show us this? <clears throat> We were powerless to change our snackless fate. Yeah. Surely we can alter these shadows before us. Perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds. <laughs> or chips. Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this True. place. True. Yeah, I guess that'd work. Might work. Is there anything we can look at here? There's future Sam and future Max. Uh, anything down here? No, there is literally nothing here. Uh, I've been told there's an achievement as well for doing these in order. Like, if you do past, then present, and future. Uh, I'm not sure if the achievements actually work on the original version of the game, though. I don't think they do, so we probably won't worry about that too much. Let's see if we can go back to town, because I want to have a little bit of a look around, just see if anything new has happened there. The corporate presence to, is still there. Uh, back to the office. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Okay, doesn't look like a lot's changed here, to be honest. Uh, what I want to do is go into Stinky's Diner, because I've been told to talk to Stinky again, because uh, apparently there's some quite funny dialogue lines in here. Uh, also, the, the bug is here, so we might be able to get some clues. I don't know if we can get clues from people... Ooh, there's a pie. What's the pie for today? Whipped Nutria. What on earth is that? I've never heard of whatever that is. Let me know in the comments. <clears throat> uh, we're ready to order. How's business? How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. <laughs> on the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Grr. <laughs> Your feet hurt? Standing up all day getting you down? And how? 
I was made for sunning beachside and capri, not slinging hash counterside for a pack of ingrates. I mean, you could always leave. Uh, how'd you get rid of bugs? <clears throat> Any tips on dealing with cockroaches? That depends. If they're in the soup, just scoop them out. If they're on the pizza, it's easier just to eat around them. I mean, no. We're ready to order. We'd like to order something. We're all out. Oh. Of what? Whatever you're going to order. <laughs> That's okay. We just want to order it anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh, daily special, poached eggs with tin foil, tuna sandwich with peppers and pop rocks. What's the special? We'd like the daily special. Sal Condi Rice Kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? Uh, okay. Poached eggs with tin foil? We'll have the poached eggs with tin foil. Sal, give me the Norse God Thor in a terrarium and spank him. Double biscuit burger, no clams. <clears throat> I like the double burger baked in biscuit dough. Hold the clams. Half a doppelganger in tight pants, singing solo. <laughs> okay. Tuna sandwich with peppers and pop rocks. We like the tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. Sal, I need an Al Gore and mariachi pants riding a disco ball. I mean, that's a thing. Right, that's all. On second thought, I'm on a diet. Uh, the feet Standing up all thing. day, getting you down? And how? I was made for sending beachside and capri, not slinging hash <coughs> counterside for a pack of ingrates. So, this seems to not be going away, so I wonder if this is going to be involved in a puzzle. Um, I know we did have the thing about, um, at the North Pole in Santa's room, there's the thing about, um, stockings or whatever, so I wonder if that's involved here. So long. But, for now, let's, uh, let's try and sort out this bug problem, shall we? Sorry, folks. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What for? If you don't, Santa Claus is going to die. You're not right in the head, <laughs> are you, boy? It's true. Quit trying to tell us what to do. Yeah, you're not our dad, man. Hmm, okay. Hello, sir. Uh, what happened to your dad again? What happened to your dad again? Taken out by a cleaning crew. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. <laughs> Right, so I wonder if there's anything we can do with that. Can't you get your family to leave? Ha! Huh, this sorry regiment never listens to me. These halfwits would only listen to my father. God rest his exoskeleton. <clears throat> right, so it's going to be something to do with the dad then. What other memories you got recorded? Here, smell this. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. Okay. <clears throat> what happened to your dad again? Taken out by a cleaning crew. Cleaning crew. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. <laughs> okay, so maybe we got to remember that phrase. Sir, so long, sir. Keep him dangling, dog face. Right, so do we have anything to do with cleaning crews here? We've got the spirit bottle, the instructions, the gift tags. We've got this maze the thing. The simplest maze for mental ages three to six. Okay, we've got the maze thing, but I don't think that's going to work here. Cleaning crew. That's what we're going to need, maybe. Some sort of cleaning stuff. Don't know. Let's go back to the past and see if we can do anything there. Where to, Sam? Uh, the North Pole. We're off to the North Pole. Okay. Back to the past we go. Uh, hang on. Look alive, Cheech. We want to go back in time again. Lead on, brother. We. Okay. So we've got to help Jimmy become a boxer, right? That's the whole part Jimmy, of this. Stop sitting Look around up, Jimmy. and get that We'll get glove. you that boxing glove. Oh, yeah. He can't hear us. Okay, so... So Jimmy's had a wife and kid in there with him all this time. Can we do anything to Leonard? He can't hear us. No, okay. Jimmy, turn off that TV and go back to wallowing in your misery. Leave me alone, you old bitch. <laughs> yeah, so we can do that, can't we? Um, I, don't, I don't know what else we can do. We can open this, this door. Hello? 
Can we get? At least we have plenty of time to catch up on our filing. No. Can we do anything with the ant farm? Ant farms of the past are almost too primitive to recognize. Okay. No. Uh. Do we want to give this guy some whiskey or whatever it is? Nah. Nah. Do we want to give Jimmy any drinks? Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh. Do we want to use the maze? Most rats would love a maze for Christmas, but this rat only wants his boxing glove. Okay, so maybe the Jimmy, little one can have the maze? Not be watching TV out there. Rats do love mazes, but giving a dying kid a cunningly disguised trap seems cruel, even for us. Oh, it's a trap. Okay. So... Merry Christmas, Mrs. Two Teeth. We got you the one gift every rat loves. An impossible maze. Come and get it! Okay. Interesting. So, can we do So anything? Jimmy's had a wife and kid in there with him all this time. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe if we turn the TV back on? Jimmy, if you don't turn off your TV... Oh I'm yeah, there we go. Hey, where am I? It's hopeless. There's no way out. Oh! Don't say that, Mary. <clears throat> we can work it out, I eh? Mary? She left me. Now I'll never see her again. That I know, son. <laughs> I know. So, <clears throat> have we got that in our inventory? We have. I wonder if we can go back to the present and then use this on Jimmy while he's on the roof then? It's not what I was expecting to happen there. I thought, you know, maybe we could use it to get Jimmy to do some exercise or something to get involved in the boxing but no. where to sam uh let's go back to the office let's head back to civilization or i have no idea what Good that thinking. sound is outside we can always freeze to death out here later sounds like a jet engine <laughs> but anyway Let's try this, and then maybe we can get the boxing glove and take it back to the past. Jimmy? Jimmy, what are you doing? Mary? Mary, is that you? Mary! Don't, don't go anywhere! I'll be right down! No, Jimmy! Don't do it! Oh, I... I, I thought you were gonna jump... <laughs> Glass jaw. What? Ah, uh, don't talk crazy. I'd never do that, especially not with my best girl here. Gee, Sam, I, I think I got something in my eye. <laughs> don't pick at it, Max. It's too hard to get back in the socket. Jimmy, I don't know how I got here, but I'm sorry for all the things I said. Don't worry, baby. Now that you're back in my life, nothing can stop me now. I'm unbeatable. Thanks for the <laughs> Full of the Christmas spirit already. <laughs> Poor Jimmy. What are you doing, Max? Seriously. Well, we got the boxing glove though. <laughs> Just booted him across the world. Where to, Sam? All right, back to the North We're Pole. To the North Pole. <clears throat> I mean, I suppose that was a happy ending for Jimmy for now, right? Seems a little bit harsh. And in a way, we did a, a form of time travel, I guess. A weird form of time travel. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's now see if we can give the glove to Jimmy. Ah, yeah, we can. Happy holidays, look. Jimmy. Hey, who threw that? What? Could it be true? Timmy, look! It's your pa's lucky boxing glove. Where the f*** is that from, Daddy? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I finally got a second chance. It's a f***ing Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, I'm my God. I'm never this thing out of my sight again. Now, come on, son. Your dad's going to go punch out some bones music. and get you that operation. God f*** us, everyone. <laughs> Way to go, dudes. You saved Christmas past. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Back to the present. Ten four, buddy. Well, we saved the past, which is 
a good thing. Um, none of that played out the way I expected it to. <laughs> that little kid is hilarious. Sam and Max, you made up for your past and helped Jimmy find his way. Now, for your reward. Ooh, a reward. Non-sequential serial numbers, please. <laughs> I'm just going to chill in this box. Until you're ready to unleash all three of us cats on that fascist demon. Okay. Sally. Nope. <laughs> so they all go back into the bottle. And then we can use the bottle on the shambling corporate presence, I guess. Interesting. Alright, well, we're going to have to figure out how to get the, um, the cockroaches out of there next. I'm guessing it's going to be something to do with the move out maggots or the cleaning crew. Something along those lines. We'll figure it out. But that is going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.